Once upon a time, a bank branch, a bank manager and a customer who had to go to his house bank for everything that had to do with money. From a simple transfer to the complex issue of wealth management. As I said, it was once like that. The future looks different. Online instead offline, digitization revolutionizes our daily lives and does not stop with money. We are now speaking about the latest developments in a revolutionary change. The closing of bank branches in Germany and elsewhere has accelerated again in recent years. According to an investigation by the German KfW Bank, about 38,000 branches open at the start of the new millennium, a quarter have since been closed. If the pace continues at this rate, the number of branches would have halved by the year 2035, according to the experts at KfW. And so, to Thomas Dapp from the digital office at KfW Bank in Frankfurt. Hello, Thomas Dapp. Hello, Mr. Risser. It's a pleasure to be here. Some studies now raise the question whether the financial sector runs the risk of experiencing a Kodak moment, like the former photo giant, which completely underestimated the implications of digitization and then collapsed. Robert, is the situation so serious? Collapse is certainly exaggerated. The traditional banks are pulling out all the stops to get their digitization sorted out. But there is a risk that banks will simply be marginalized somewhere along their value-added chains and become simply service and infrastructure providers without customer interaction. Who benefits from this development? What we see happening at the moment is that digital platforms are beginning to dominate the market, even becoming ecosystems. And as a rule, in ecosystems of this kind, everyone profits. That is, both the traditional banks and the non-banks, the technology-driven companies that are sort of trying to steal the icing off the traditional bank's cake. And what are the effects for the clients? Well, suddenly, the customer has access to offers from technology-driven companies as well as from traditional banks. They may include global advice offers. And it's certainly desirable, because it has a kind of democratizing effect. Because until now, the offers were restricted to bank customers who had access to these money market products. And now they're spreading to a broader public. And with these low interest phases we're having at the moment, it's definitely also economically desirable. And so to someone who must know about it, because Giles Keating has co-founded such a robo-advisor. Giles Keating in London, I know you do not feel so comfortable with the term robo-advisor. Why? Well, at Werkstein, although we do have a robo-advisor process in the background, which is doing all the calculations, but we combine that with human beings. So I think you really get the best of both worlds. Giles, let us once again talk about the topic of digitization in wealth management. What advantages does the development have for the customers? Well, probably the most obvious are that it's very fast. It's kind of immediately available on your computer or your tablet or your phone. And of course, it's a lot cheaper. Those are the obvious things. But I think rather less obvious, digitization also means that you get a rigorous process, a properly designed portfolio, which I'm afraid you often don't get, even at perhaps a quite an expensive private bank. Now, the bank customer always feels quite safe because at least it looks as if his money behind thick steel doors in the bank is well cared for and there's a person behind the counter who has been trusted for years. What about the security of customer deposits with digital asset managers? Well, if we look at the clients of Werkstein, their assets are not actually held by Werkstein, they're held by a bank, our partner bank, Bader Bank. And in the highly unlikely circumstances uh, that both Werkstein and even Bader Bank uh, were to fail, the client's money is protected. The money on deposit is protected by the normal deposit guarantee up to 100,000 euros. And all of their assets and securities without limit are kept separately in a safe deposit that would not be affected by the failure of the bank itself. 
Let's speak about the costs. For whom is the offer of Wertstein attractive? It's attractive for a very wide range of investors. Wertstein has a unique charging system, which is 57 euros a month instead of linking to the percentage of assets. Now that means that a client using the Wertstein Invest product with let's say 75,000 euros to invest would be paying barely more than half what they'd pay at a major private bank. And for larger investors, say with half a million, they'd be paying around about one third. And if you get it right now, what's behind the Wertstein product? The frustrating thing I find is if I pick up a newspaper or a magazine, it's full of interesting ideas like, I don't know, driverless cars or biotechnology, but I can't invest in that. But at Wertstein, you can. You watch the video and on your tablet or your phone, you can just invest in those fascinating zeitgeists that are going to determine the future of the economy. Thank you, Giles Keating. And if we have aroused your interest now, you can test the offer of Wertstein completely free of charge with virtual capital. Giles has addressed it. The heart of the offer are the zeitgeist, no matter whether batteries, driverless cars, or the business that look after our pets, there's no shortage of ideas and you can make something of them with your money.